Yeah, so the Swiss cheese model, it's nothing in aviation happens just because of one thing. Right. Every accident in the past has always happened because of a lead up of things. And a Swiss cheese is pretty much, Swiss cheese has holes in it. Yeah. And usually you only get through two until you hit one. Yeah. But a Swiss cheese model effect is where like all of them align and you get through all the way to where the crash is pretty much. Right, yeah, uh, so a whole bunch of, 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 um, of issues, let's say, or yeah. deviations. Uh, will lead to, uh, to you know, yeah. If it's like a big accident, it's like the ground handler, then the fueler, and then right. the pilot and right. the dispatcher. It's never just one thing usually. Like uh, we were talking about earlier, um, back when I was flying, a mistake that I had was um, I was doing some circuit training uh, when I was pre PPL, just doing my solo time building and. Um, and on the downwind leg, looking for my point, okay, where's my 45? Uh, kind of got task saturated and it, um, ended up stall warning horn came on. Luckily, my instructor was big on, you know, as soon as you hear that, we look at the airspeed indicator and make our correction immediately. So nose down, gave some power, and it was turned into a non-event. Yeah. Uh, but it was the start of kind of that Swiss cheese model we talked about.